Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another pomade review. Today the pomade we will be taking a look at is Iron Heritage Model T. Uh, they're basically their medium hole pomade. So without further ado, let's take a look at the tin. Alright guys, here's the tin. Um, as you can see, it's a metal tin on the top. We have Iron Heritage 60 weight Model T and again Iron Heritage. A hairdressing wax pomade. This is a metal tin. It's not a screw top lid, it's just a slip off. And on the inside, you see the pomade's full to the brim. This is, in fact, four ounces. And probably the most interesting that you're noticing about this pomade right now is that it actually has some uh, sparkly, shiny bits in there. I honestly, I don't know what that is, and it'll be interesting to see um, if that affects the performance of the pomade in any way. On the back of the tin, you have the scent, pipe tobacco with a hint of vanilla, um, instructions, and additional recommendations for just taking care of your hair in general. So looking at the ingredients list, we see that it is petroleum base, then you have beeswax, some cytal alcohol, coconut oil, avocado oil, fragrance, and vitamin E. So yep, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty straightforward tin. I think the design is pretty fitting to their whole overall aesthetic of the brand and I would say it's pretty decent. With that said, let's get to the styling. And we're back, so we can go ahead and get to the styling, see how this scoops out. So just a little bit of pressure required and you get some slight ribboning, but it does feel in the hands like a medium. So breaking it down is very, very easy. And running it through your hair, again, this is, as always, towel dried hair. Running through the hair is pretty slick. We are going to be using multiple small legs as usual. Now the scent is a uh, pine tobacco with a hint of vanilla, pipe tobacco with a hint of vanilla. And right now I definitely smell, the tobacco strong is um, pretty warm and the vanilla is just like peeking through. I know a lot of you guys are always concerned uh, when it comes to tobacco scents, like you're concerned like smelling like cigarette smoke. But based on my experience with different products that have um, tobacco scents in them, that's usually never the case. It doesn't smell like cigarette smoke because that's the smell you get from the burning, but rather it just smells like if you had maybe say tobacco you're packing into a pipe, that kind of rich, earthy, old man smell, that, that's what it smells like. So it's a very like, I want to say classic scent. So um, I might not have mentioned this before, uh, this video is sponsored by Hedgeline, and this product is actually made by my barber here in Chicago, Mike from Pete's Barbershop. So, shout out to Mike. Um, he also kindly sent me their new water-based pomade, as well as their Iron Heritage, um, what's it called? Original Iron Ore Oil or something like that. It's basically their version of a coconut oil product with a few different tweaks. And, you know, for, it's probably like, I guess you could say, it's like if a home brewer tried to make their version of coconut oil. Alright, so I think we have enough in the hair right now. We're just going to slick everything back. So combing through is very easy. So far this product is feeling like a true medium. So that's the uh, expectation that we'll hold it up to. Uh, in terms of slickness, very slick. Stickiness, um, not as sticky as some. It's very middle ground stickiness. So. One thing we want to see is how well it holds the hair together. And today is a pretty warm, sunny day out, so I am expecting the curls and waves to come through throughout the day, but that's not going to be an issue because we know this going in working with a medium pomade. So right now, as you can see, the hair is in fact slicked back pretty nicely, and we will just continue to the actual styling of the hair, finding the part, and all that good stuff. So right now, I'm probably going to, at least for the next couple videos, 
We're going to be focusing on the Iron Heritage products. And after that, we'll be taking a look at the new line of Grandad's products. We have everything from the light to the heavy, including the water base. So we'll, we'll be taking a look at all of those. And after that's done, uh, we'll probably be going for the King Brown line of pomades from Australia. And after that's done, we'll, we'll figure it out, you know, as time goes by. Hey guys, so I realized my video cut off a little bit earlier than I expected it to because of memory issues on my camera. But um, basically, as you can see, my hair is totally solid right now. I have the part and the contour in the front and pretty much everything else is just laying down. I'll give you guys a quick 360 view. And that's pretty much it. Um, styling was really easy with this product. Uh, as a true medium, it performs pretty well. The stickiness is probably uh, my main concern right now, where I want the hairs to stay together instead of splitting apart throughout the day, throughout the heat and all that. So we'll see how it does um, today and how it builds up over the next couple days, and I'll see you for the next part of this review. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm back to conclude my review of the Iron Heritage Model T Wax Base Pomade. Now, just a quick reminder, it does call itself a Wax Base Pomade, but the first ingredient is petrolatum, so it is in fact a petrol-based pomade. Basically the same thing, um, it's just about the composition and how greasy versus how waxy it is. So, going into this review, we knew that it was a medium, going to be a true medium, and that's what we expected of it. So things pretty much panned out as I predicted for the first day. It was a warm day, so my curls started showing through. Um, with the buildup, it was pretty decent. So this is an interesting aspect of this pomade, is that the buildup is very, very light. When you rinse your hair with just water, or say you condition your hair, most of the buildup is going to rinse right out. So I'd say about 75% of the buildup will be lost in the process. On the plus side, the buildup is probably the cleanest buildup I've ever felt on a petrol based pomade. So if you like a true medium that's lightweight in the hair, styles your hair pretty neatly. If you have waves, they're still going to be in effect. They're just going to be kept neat. Uh, if you're looking for a petrol based pomade that does not feel greasy in the slightest, then I definitely do recommend checking out this pomade. Uh, you can find it on their own website or headline. I'll put the links both down in the description below. And this is four ounces, but it only costs, I think, $12 on both websites. I don't know about the Iron Heritage website, but definitely on Hedgeline you get free shipping. So it is, you know, a couple dollars cheaper than most homebrews out there. And I would say it's a good, it's a competitive pomade. Like, it can hold its own against a lot of the homebrew pomades out there. It's kind of underrated. People don't really talk about it much, but definitely do check it out. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my Instagram at the Pomade Scandal. Till next time, guys, stay greasy. Peace.